Hello, and welcome to the first tutorial in the GIMP pixel art series. This series will be made up of five videos. How to set up GIMP for pixel art, three live pixel art demonstrations showing how to make basic monsters, a Mario-like character, and terrain tiles, and lastly, how to combine those terrain tiles to make a tile set. In today's video, I'll be covering how to set up GIMP. We'll be going over what GIMP is, how to get it, how to set it up, and some hotkeys that will help speed up your pixel art creation process. What is GIMP? GIMP is a free software that can be used for digital art such as photo editing and pixel art. It's basically free Photoshop and will do everything you need to get started in pixel art. How do you get GIMP? You can download GIMP for free from their website at www.gimp.org. From there, you'll go to the download link and click Download GIMP Directly. Once you've downloaded GIMP, all you have to do is follow the prompts like any other software installation and you'll be good to go. Windows users may see a warning message when trying to install just click OK and continue the installation process. Now that you have GIMP installed, let me show you the settings you need to change to optimize your pixel art experience. We will be configuring the pencil, eraser, and an optional grid in this tutorial. The first thing you want to do is click on the pencil. It's important to use the pencil tool rather than the paintbrush tool because the pencil tool completely colors the pixel you've selected rather than adding an unwanted fading effect that the paintbrush does. You're going to want to select the square brush and change the size to 1. Next, you're going to want to set up the eraser. Click on the eraser icon and check the box next to hard edge. This allows you to erase in a single click rather than gradually erasing over time. To make sure we set this up properly, we can click the pencil and make a dot. Then we can click the eraser and click that dot. It should be completely erased. If that doesn't happen for you, you may have to go back to the separate setups to find out your issue and try again. Next, I'll show you how to configure the grid. To show the grid, you'll click view, show grid. As you can see, the grid is going to be too large, so we need to configure it to be the right size. To configure the grid, all you have to do is click Image, Configure Grid, and change the width and height from 10 to 1. You'll want to repeat these steps for the default grid setting by clicking Edit, Preferences, and then Default Grid. There, you'll see a heading called Spacing, and you'll want to change the width and the height settings to 1. And then you're done! Now when we look at our canvas, our grid outlines will show where the pixels will be. Lastly, we'll go over some hotkeys that will be useful in your pixel art creation process. The pen hotkey is N. To change the pen size, all you have to do is click the square brackets. The left square bracket key will make it smaller and the right one will make it larger. The eraser tool can be accessed using Shift E. You can zoom in and out of your artwork by pressing Z and then left clicking. That'll zoom in. If you hold control while clicking, that'll zoom out. This is good for viewing your work to get an idea of what your creation will look like in-game. I recommend disabling the grid to see what your artwork will look like more clearly. The eyedropper tool can be accessed using O. This is good for choosing colors you've already used on this piece. Just a reminder that these are default hotkeys for Windows. To customize your hotkeys, you can click Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts. This will show you a list of all the current keyboard shortcuts and allow you to configure them to your liking. This concludes the first video. We covered what GIMP is, how to install it, how to configure GIMP settings optimized for pixel art, and I showed you some useful hotkeys as well as how to customize them. Stick around for the next video where I do a live demonstration of the process behind making some basic monsters. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.